we frequently need to work with vectors or lists in R. And it is very frequent that we will need to apply a certain operation on each one of the elements contained in both of them. There are several apply functions in R. We have laply, supply, tapply, and apply, and we have many others. So let's see how to use uh, some of them. I will be first creating a hundred uh, normal random numbers. You can see that uh, here I have uh, my vector. And one thing that I might want is to add, for example, a one to each element. So I could certainly uh, write much more complicated functions here. Um, but in this case, I will be just summing one, just for the sake of simplicity. So if I execute the laply function, I get a list, which might or might not be what I wanted. The problem is that if I want to access the elements contained here, I will need to write uh, not this, because this will uh, return the list component, but I will need to write this. So. That's where the unlist function appears. We can use the unlist function to destroy the list structure and just get um, the atomic components of that list. A different apply function is the supply function. So supply is pretty much the same thing, but we have more flexibility because we have a simplify parameter here. So if we run this with the simplify equals true, we get uh, pretty much the same thing as before with the unlist operator applied. And if we use simplify equals false, we will get the list. So we have uh, more flexibility. Now, a different thing is the um, to apply and apply functions. They are quite different. So let's assume I have this data frame where I have uh, four observations, two for Mike, two for Bob, and then I have a salary. And one thing that I might need to do is to aggregate uh, the data in the data frame uh, somehow. In this case, it is pretty clear that I will need to aggregate it by person. So uh, one way of doing this is using the tabli function and we'll need to pass the variable that we would like to summarize, and then the level that we want to use to summarize this um, this previous variable. And then we need to pass a function that will summarize that data. So essentially, sum will grab a vector and return the sum. So um, we can pass any function that we want here. Uh, and if we execute this, I get uh, the sum for Bob and Mike. Of course, I could have done min, and uh, you get the idea. Of course, uh, another thing would be that uh, we could define our own functions and pass them here. So uh, I could potentially do that if you want. So let's uh, let's get function uh, and this vector, and uh, that would be just summing everything. So this will be just replicating the sum function. Uh, but I'll be summing everything and multiplying by four, for example. And if I run that, uh, this is what I get. And finally, the last function that we have here is the apply function. So apply is the most flexible one, and it is designed to be applied in data frames. Remember that data frames are lists of um, vectors. So I will pull the data uh, column corresponding to a salary. And then I will need to pass a parameter whether I want to work on each row or on each column. So if I put one, uh, what R will do is that it will loop through all the uh, rows here. So this is essentially what I what I want. I don't, I wouldn't like to, to uh, iterate through the columns, at least in this example. And finally, the third parameter is uh, pretty much the same thing as before. It's a function. So in this case, I will be summing 10 to each observation here in salary. 
uh, they will be creating a modif salary. So here I have what I wanted. Of course, you might be wondering why I'm writing this because I could have done um, modif salary two will of course be um, data salary plus ten. So of course, in this example, I could have could have done this, and I would be getting the same uh, result. But uh, obviously you can imagine that here we can write much more uh, complex things because we could, for example, write something like this. If x is, let's say, smaller than uh, 20, we return a zero, else we return x plus 1, for example. So here we we wrote a much, much more complex um, function, and here we have the results.